Greetings, Earthlings, and welcome to another episode of Raw Space Presents, where we feature cognitively augmentative videos from other channels. What is the shape of the world? Ask any kindergartner and you'll get the correct answer. Round, a circle, a globe, a ball. We all know this. Well, not quite all. There's a small but possibly growing fringe of wackos who, for some reason, choose to ignore the abundance of proof all around them that the Earth is a sphere, and would rather assert that the Earth is a different shape. Flat, concave, square, donut, ice ball, cube, even Mario. It gives me great pleasure to present to you the wonder from down under, the Wizard of Oz, the experimenter with an attitude from a southern latitude, the debunker of flurf tales from New South Wales. Okay, that'll do. Okay. Today, Wade's Underworld gives us the top 10 reasons he knows the Earth is a globe. Let's get started. I will not swear in this video, I will not mention you know who, I will not make assumptions based on a lack of understanding, I will only use my own observations. Top 10 reasons I know the Earth is a globe. Number 10. Satellite images always match my local weather. Every time I take photographs of the clouds, they always match the corresponding satellite images from Himawari 8. I was surprised by how easy it is to match the clouds and weather conditions to the satellite images. But how does this let me know the Earth is a globe? Well, besides proving that satellite images are real, the images I'm zooming in on are actually enormous high-resolution images of the entire face of the Earth, which clearly shows it's a globe. Number 9. The moon moves independently to the stars. The moon does appear to be moving with the stars, rising in the east and setting in the west. But, if you observe the moon over a few nights, you'll see that the moon is actually moving in the opposite direction. In this observation, it clearly shows the moon further east each night. It only appears to be moving with the stars due to the rotation of the Earth. In this image, we can see a small star to the top right, and if we press play, we can see the star moving away from the moon. Number 8. Water really can curve around a spinning ball. This one is just a bit of fun, but we often get asked things like, show me water curving around a spinning ball, or show me water sticking to the bottom of a spinning ball. This is my version of water curving around a spinning ball. For me, this looks like proof that water can curve around a spinning ball. Number 7. I can see stars right near the horizon. There's a perspective argument that says the reason we can't see further than the horizon is because our eyes can only see a limited distance. But if I can't see past the horizon, why can I still see stars near the horizon? Even if the stars were local, they would still be much further away than the horizon. So the actual reason I can't see past the horizon is because the ground drops away because of the curvature of the Earth. Number 6. Polaris never rises above my horizon. The North Star isn't just a few inches below my horizon. Polaris is actually 33 degrees below my horizon, and no amount of atmospheric distortion will ever account for how far Polaris is below my horizon. Day or night, Polaris is never in my sky. Perspective can't account for how far below the horizon Polaris is. And to be sure, here's a star trail I did of my northern horizon, which gives us an idea of just how far below the horizon Polaris really is. Looking at this, it's easy to see I'm standing on the surface of a giant spinning globe. Number 5. Perspective does not hide objects. Some people have been making ground level perspective observations, but they haven't been using level ground. <coughs> Big, Bigfoot! If this observation is made correctly on flat level ground, and when the camera is placed on the ground, objects in the distance will not be blocked. Just like the white bag in the first of these images, and the Lego target in the second image, because nothing can go below a flat level plane. Number 4. Objects past the horizon are blocked by the horizon. This observation is best made over calm water. Take a photo or video from any given height and then take the camera down to about a foot or two above the water, and watch how the horizon starts blocking the shoreline behind it. 
I've done this observation many times in various weather conditions and still get a similar result. Atmospheric distortion is minimal and really easy to see. Here's your curvature people, it's right in front of us in all directions. Number 3. Celestial objects appear upside down from the southern hemisphere. It makes it obvious that we are standing on the opposite sides of a giant ball and not adjacent sides of a flat level plane. The moon is an obvious one but my favourite are the constellations. Firstly Orion which is one of the more photogenic constellations. And then there's Butes which I think looks better upside down and yeah I'm renaming it Arcturus after its main star. There's also Aquarius, Aries, the Lynx and Leo. And as an added bonus, I get my very own polar region of stars circling in the opposite direction to the northern hemisphere. The globe doesn't need to lie, it proves itself. Number 2. In summer, I see the sun rise from the southeast and set in the southwest. That's right, from Australia, during summer, all us Aussies see the sun rising from the southwest heading in a northerly direction and then curve around and set in the southwest. This clearly can only work on a globe and I've yet to see any other model or explanation to account for this motion of the sun. I even tested this by assuming the earth is flat, but still found out that the earth is a globe. And the number one reason I know the earth is a globe because of science, technology, engineering, and mathematics. Yes, that is freaking right. Millions and millions of employed professionals around the world know it's a globe. The same people that tell us our heart pumps blood around our bodies to keep us alive also tell us it's a globe. The same people that tell us how our brain and nervous system works knows it's a globe. Medical science is what we trust in when we need a doctor or a surgeon to save our lives. We put our trust in science every time we put ourselves and our kids in the car and start the ignition, which literally ignites gasoline in a combustion chamber. Do we pray the car doesn't explode? No, we trust in science. I do get it. Yes, governments lie. Corporations lie. We all care about how we're perceived by others, but that doesn't make the earth flat. Scientists dedicate their entire lives to understanding the world around us to make life better for us all. Yes, they make mistakes, but they are human. I seriously do not get why a small number of people around the world assume the Earth is flat, just because they don't understand science and how it works. Without science, technology, engineering and mathematics, this video wouldn't even be possible. YouTube, the internet, electricity none of it will be possible. The Flat Earth Movement has got to be one of the biggest jokes in our entire history. I have literally shown Flat Earthers photos of the southern sky from my backyard and they still think the stars are fake. Like seriously, what the f- Thanks for watching. Make sure to go subscribe to Wade's Underworld. The link is in the description. And if you enjoy space content, make sure to like and subscribe to Raw Space as well. See you next time.